Good evening and welcome to ATV News. My name is Shalom Lawson. On today's bulletin, Bulawayo residents welcome a new electricity billing system. The siltation of a dam in Zimunya destroys livelihoods. We talk to Reggae Music's new singing sensation. And the Rugby League resumes after a break. Moves by Zimbabwe Power Utilities as a holdings to install prepaid meters have brought relief to Bulawayo residents who had grown weary of huge electricity bills which were estimated and inflated. Eunice Feridai gives us the report. Residents in Bulawayo have welcomed the installation of prepaid meters by Zesa Holdings, saying the move will help create a fair and efficient electricity billing system. Most people were refusing to pay bills, arguing that Zesa was relying on estimates which were inflated and did not match the energy consumed by a household. ATV spoke to residents who are happy with the new billing system, which would enable them to pay for the actual power consumed. <laughs> Pama bills are you we are like gonna queer bill six hundred, five hundred of which it was too much. Because need you can shan some get a sixty dollars per month. It is affordable. Sarat no ma farira teachers. The prepaid meters are far much better than the fixed ones. Cause you, you get to know how much you are using. Um now we are using two dollars per day. Uh, before we, we were using, uh, we were paying about 150 per month, so it's far much better using the prepaid meters. Meanwhile, a Mahashila Seba president appealed to Zesa Holdings to establish more outlets to enable them to make payments. I see a bonga, look at Sagunzo, I want to be a Zesu Fagela, I'm a meter law. This is what I can tell you, which one is going to be a man, then the other person is going to be a man, and the other person is going to be a man, and the other person is going to be a man, and the other person is going to be a man, and the other person is going to be a man, and the other person is going to be a man, and the other person is the estimates based Zesa billing system has created tension between the power utility and consumers. A poor billing system has also seen the power utility failing to recover a 550 million debt owned by consumers. I'm Eunice Fereza reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. The clogging of a dam with silt has brought misery to the lives of communities in the Zimunya district. Andrew Mambundiani reports. The situation of Chitura Dam in Mutare South and Manikalan province has destroyed the livelihoods of communities close to the water reservoir. Before siltation, the dam provided fish and water for livestock, crop irrigation, brick molding, construction and for other domestic purposes. And today, what remains of the once mighty dam is just a wall and reeds prompting calls from villagers to rehabilitate the dam which is a source of livelihood for local communities. The dam has the potential to run a mini hydro power station. Arai batsira vanhu vakawandisa ma irrigation ma gates zvese zvaibuda ipapo. 
Singati magetsio paka eska generita rino gara kakura chako pa mapuri sari kana pa guta orari gulote po indi pano rinoenda Ne vile jisi ilipa duze pache ipa papu kana pa dinu panso kubatsira Ni kana zungwa inchi ni achi ya kakura inu panso kubatsira suru sakawanda kana kuto gaya chai 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 kwa inaiti Villagers say there was need for collective effort to rehabilitate the dam Vanu vataki ngati chumbo kurukura nezao vasha rupa Vatimoti ndo vatina omu nfimbo asi haa nacha wacha gona kuita Murukona Saka tinewa nuwakaita sevamo e, vechi diki vedu. E, Tekambo kurukura, teka tis, tinewa nuwakaita sawa na webesta chipiro, wana kachembere. Vangu waru kungo za mapasha umwe na mumu ya chide kwa za uridimu nga mbatsira seipa chaki. Asitu tutu onoti ya atika mkwa na robatsiru guti vise chete chi zini zwashi mumu mzinga tinakira. Other villagers in Zimunya are benefiting from rehabilitating their dams. If practical steps are taken to rehabilitate Chitora Dam, this could have a positive impact on the livelihoods of communities living around the dam. Reporting for ATV, Ilmutare, Zimbabwe. A young music star is hogging the limelight in Harare with his impressive display of vocal and bouncing skills, which are wowing crowds. Jairo Saonyama gives us more. Nikaye Afrika tino gona tisa tikisero neva angwe ai waye wapa mu Afrika zikita be uno gona. Zimbabwe has witnessed the birth of a new dancehall star who is wooing crowds with his lyrics and dancehall styles. The 12-year-old grade 7 people, Munashe Tanjan, well known by his legion of fans as Spiderman, has shared the stage with internationally acclaimed dancehall artists like Capitol, Mavado, and Agent Sasko. ATV traced the young musician to his Glenora home where his mentor, calm uncle spoke about how he identified the talent. I'm a groom the youth from 2010. That's when the youth start rise up. And I'm recording first song, 2011. And I tell you, it's a boss of the charts. His mentor said he never knew that he would wake up one day with Spider-Man as a lab. It was something that I never thought Spider would do either. Because he used to watch me rehearsing every time. So one day after me finish rehearsal, we go straight to bed. But me forgot the soap in the yard, right? So we come back with the soap. But when we come in, we see the youth rehearsing by himself and doing everything that we used to do now. So that's when we discover the talent. The youthful artist said he drew his inspiration from incarcerated Jamaican reggae artist Buju Banton. No, not Buju Banton. No, me did a voice like I and I like his voice and everything about him. His best moments came when he mixed and mingled with Jamaican artists who visited Zimbabwe. His mother said she makes sure Spider-Man is not swallowed in music as he also needs to focus on his schoolwork. So I can't say music interrupts his learning. He balances them very well. Like right now he's on holiday, but he'll be going for extra lessons next week uh, for two weeks since he's writing his, his CJC this year. So I'm not really complaining. I think he's doing very well. Munashe is a talented and gifted young artist, and with hard work and the right influence, he's poised to rise to stardom. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Rugby enthusiasts are in for a treat as the local league roared into action following a four-week break. Robert Tafumane reports. The National Lion Lager Rugby League resumed last week after taking a month-long break with the national team taking part in the Africa Cup tournament in Tunisia. The president of Zimbabwe Rugby Union said he hoped that all the teams are going to raise their performance as they had more time to prepare for the second half of the season. The other matches that are taking place, uh, Harare, Old Harareans have travelled to Kweru, where they are playing against Kweru. Old Harareans are looking at um, uh, moving up to number two should Matlin Warriors lose here at, at Old Georgia. He added that some teams which were promoted last year are playing very well despite the stiff competition they are facing from season teams. Well, um, I would say generally the, 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 like the team that was promoted uh, from last year uh, is Gweru and Gweru have, have played fairly well. Um, then uh, rugby was revived in, in Gweru about um, last year and uh, them being in the top eight, they, they, they fared uh, quite well. Now they say that he is happy with the branding of the league as part of their sponsorship package.
we, we are grateful for what we're getting. Uh, it has really taken off a lot of uh, pressure from the clubs and from the league. Uh, we used to uh, get clubs to pay uh, for, for services like referees and ambulances. But the coming on board of Lion Lager has taken a lot of pressure off the clubs and the, the, the league management. The union president said there is need to develop the sport at junior level and to spread the game to disadvantaged areas. There, there is need for, for more rugby to be played in the uh, disadvantaged um, areas because rugby is mostly concentrated in, in the major cities, Harare, Buluwayo, uh, Gweru to some extent, um, but it needs to spread to the other areas. The league had taken a lengthy break to give space to the national team to compete in international tournaments. The rugby sport is improving in Zimbabwe and the national team is ranked 29th in the latest International Rugby Board World Rankings following their crowning as champions of Africa. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Thank you for joining us. Good night.